Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. You know, we have heard the story of Zacchaeus plenty of times. And we know how this story goes. It is quite unique to the Gospel of St. Luke. And he was a chief tax collector, despised by many. But he has also inspired many conversions. But if you will listen intently, the entire account of Zacchaeus gives us a remarkable, what we call the five W's and the one H technique. A tool of six questions for gathering information and providing solutions. The who, what, where, when, why, and how of receiving Jesus. First, who? Who are the people Jesus wants to receive him? The least, the last, the lost. Zacchaeus was considered least and last not only because of his physical stature, but because of being despised by his Jewish brothers, treated an outcast because he was a traitor as a tax collector for the Romans. He was considered lost because of his sins. But Zacchaeus risked embarrassment, public humiliation, and most of all, he tried his best, even climbing a tree just to see Jesus. And so, Jesus did not just pass by. He saw Zacchaeus, the lost sheep he was looking for. The who. Second, what? What does Jesus want with those who receive him? Relationship. Jesus did not merely want to preach to Zacchaeus and convert him. Jesus wanted to have a relationship with Zacchaeus, beginning with a meal and a time spent together. Jesus would only come into the house of Zacchaeus and into his life if he was received by Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus received Jesus first and then started a relationship with him. Third, where? Where does Jesus want us to go? Down to him. If Zacchaeus did not lower himself, he would never meet Jesus. And this says to all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, come down from your high places, from your pedestals of pride. Jesus would never have eaten with Zacchaeus if he stayed up there in the sycamore tree. And it is the same with all of us. You know, God humbled himself. By becoming man, he came down to our level so we can meet him where we are and if we keep on building our Tower of Babels, if we remain in our lofty places of sin, of arrogance and conceit, we will miss an opportunity of a lifetime. Which leads us to the fourth W, when. When does Jesus want us to receive him? Immediately, quickly. Jesus told Zacchaeus to hurry and come down. If he did not hurry, the opportunity might be lost. Not later, not tomorrow, now and quickly. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. When called by Jesus, do not waste time, for tomorrow is never assured. Fifth W, why? Why does Jesus want us to receive him? For us to have life. Jesus explained why he sought an extended friendship to a notorious sinner like Zacchaeus. Jesus came precisely to save people like him. In receiving Jesus and spending just a little time with him, Zacchaeus knew he had to make reparation. He had to repent. First, he just sought Jesus, but in seeking Jesus, he also came to seek repentance. Even though Zacchaeus 
sought Jesus. It turns out Jesus sought him first. And finally, the how. How does Jesus want us to receive him? Like Zacchaeus did, with joy. Zacchaeus was happy to receive Jesus. Here, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem and he would be received into the city with joy, entering it with triumph. But before that, he had a different entry into the heart of a one man, of one man, the heart of Zacchaeus. And this entrance, this reception, seemed to have a more lasting result. My dear brothers and sisters, Zacchaeus showed us the five W's and the H in receiving Jesus. And in doing so, he became true to his name, for Zacchaeus means the pure one. Let his conversion be our inspiration for us to become true to our names as followers of Christ, Christians. Amen.